This week I have been cleaning the project some more, and in turn I remade the vines again. Hello everyone, and welcome to this devlog about my game dev journey with my game Treasured. A temple raiding, museum building, co-op puzzle game. Like I said, I have cleaned up some more stuff within the project. I can't really show anything because it is mostly code that is much cleaner now. But I can try to show you an example on how I clean my code. Since I have made all of the code myself, I kind of have an idea of what everything does. Duh. This knowledge is then used to look at pieces of code to see if they are necessary or not. I have this bool active in the feature class, which is used to deactivate generators when I'm debugging others. Since I now have every generator as a child of the manager, instead of all of the generators being part of the manager, I can now simply disable the game object to deactivate a generator. So now I can get rid of the active pool and all of the code that interacted with it. In last week's video, I said I wanted to separate the spawn points from the generator. To give you an example, trees don't really use a generator to get spawn points. The component gives me the ability to add trees by hand. I have full control over where trees are spawned and how big they are. If I wanted to, I can simply swap this spawn point method with the foliage's spawn point methods. And boom. Suddenly trees appear in the same way foliage is placed. Of course, this makes no sense, but if I want to have control over where certain flowers can grow, I can simply make a flower generator that uses the same spawn point method as the trees. Et voila! Hand placed procedural flowers. To give you an idea of some ideas I have, I want to place boulders, for example. I can place spawn points by hand and then let a generator create big rocky boulders there. Very cool. This week I wanted to fix some bugs with the vines. As you can see, they are either showing through the walls, or they grow off walls and then suddenly go straight down to the ground. Both are things I don't really want. Currently, vines grow based on a height map. This is created based on the floors. This means that it won't grow on other objects. So, how can I fix this? Well. I remade the vine generator and made it work with colliders. And vines can then grow wherever they want. In order for this to work as intended, I also had to rearrange some code within the manager because the trees have to first have a mesh before the vines can grow. This made me rethink how I generate everything. I now changed it to use layers. So I now have the data map generators on layer 0, the trees on layer 1, and all of the other generators on layer 2. This means that the trees on layer 1 can first create their mesh colliders, which the vines on layer 2 can then use to stick to. This layer system is also useful for another thing I created. I called them anti-points, because I just didn't really know what to call them. <laughs> These anti-points are basically points where stuff is not allowed to generate. For now, this is used with the trees, since I don't want any foliage or rubble to spawn inside of the trees. When a fern wants to spawn inside the tree, it will check if it is inside one of the anti-points before doing anything else. If it is inside one, it will just be discarded and no fern will be spawned. If I now look at my to-do list, 
all of the items I wanted to complete are now complete. This can only mean one thing. Oh yeah, the base of the layout system is now complete. I will create a video where I summarize all of the features of this system and why I think it will really help me in the future. As of now, I can focus on adding gameplay elements to the game. I guess I can continue with the co-op players, which I added during Wednesday's game dev stream. Yeah, I... I do have co-op. So like one of them, so this is the one with keyboard and mouse. So that's why it's like very choppy. And then the other one is my controller. So let's have a look. Can I show it off? Boop, 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 boop. So I can now move both of them. Although I don't have no clue where I'll go with this. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I do have co-op. Yeah, and I could actually add another controller, but I have to grab that. If you watch this video before 2 p.m. GMT or uh, 9 a.m. EST, you can catch the Saturday game stream where I play Human Fall Flat with Games by Saul. It will be his first time playing the game, so that will be good fun. That's it for this video. Like the video if you liked it and dislike it if you disliked it. You can subscribe to the channel for more game dev content or follow me on Twitter or join the Discord server for even more updates. Until next time, take care.